Hey, just a heads up, this video may contain some potentially triggering content that some may find disturbing, so viewer discretion is advised. Also, in order for this to stay up, I have to ask you not to harass anyone mentioned in this video. It's just unneeded and only exacerbates the issue at hand. Thanks, and enjoy the video. How goes it? Big Bad here. Now, if you're a long-time viewer of my channel, you may remember who Fahad the Slayer is. Fahad is a rec room YouTuber who I used to collaborate with a couple of years ago. Now, the reason Fahad stopped appearing on my channel was due to a situation that happened back in 2020, where Fahad and his friend Mr. Headcrab decided to sexually harass me for shock value. Yeah, then I just noticed uh, that I okay, you... Uh, Big what are you doing? Shit, that's true. He's <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's how to make Big Bad leave! Fucking game blocks me and didn't leave. <laughs> I don't remember specifically when this video was recorded, but I know it would have been around 15 or 16 at the time of filming, which is below the age of consent in most countries. Clearly, they weren't satisfied with just sexually harassing a minor, so they decided they'd also call me the N-word in a Discord call while I was trying to record a video. I'm spamming L so hard right now. <laughs> hey, no. hey, big bad, you fucking Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's worth mentioning that this happened in Fahad's official Discord server, where it's his duty to ban people for breaking TOS. I guarantee that if it was literally anyone else who did it, they would get banned or kicked at the very least, but Headcrab gets a pass for god knows what reason. Fahad is also guilty of stalking my social media, including my Twitter account and my Doomworld account. He's also employed members of his community to do the same as well. The most notable stalker goes by I Forget on Twitter, but we'll get to him later. Also, Fahad got on my case for talking about the invasion of Ukraine, as if that's somehow a bad thing. How was talking about Ukraine in a positive light bad? Does Fahad support the invasion of Ukraine? Honestly, I wouldn't put it past me at this point. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Now that you're caught up, let's take a look at these allegations. Now, a couple of months ago, someone claimed to be a fan of Fahad reached out to me on Twitter, and the things that were listed in the DM are pretty damning to say the least, so let's take a look. Also, the person who leaked this will be kept anonymous for her own safety. Bro, I heard you talk about Fahad stands. Yeah, I got experience. Fahad doesn't like black people. He uses the N-word, and he dislikes rap music. He called a black guy the hard R once. From personal experience, I know all too well that Fahad and his cohorts are more than willing to use racial and homophobic slurs to get what they want. What's up, my right? I'm a wizard. You're f***ing hairy! I'm just... <laughs> ah! oh, my so, uh, this is checking out so far. Moving on. Also, that boy, I forget if they keep around. He ain't good either. He's a trouble student, constantly getting into violent altercations. He's unsafe to be around. He once told me to kill myself because I told him Rook Room isn't good. It's also a zoo file. Also, according to the DMs, he's secretly a furry and he still listens to Kanye West even after he came out as a neo-Nazi. This is another point I can agree with. Before I blocked him, any time he would get into an argument and lose, he would derail the conversation by talking about how much he loves Kanye West. After finding out about what Kanye said during that interview with Alex Jones, it makes a lot more sense looking back. He also mentioned someone named Ian Pelicantor Wagon, who was a close friend of Fahad. The most troubling thing is, according to the DMs, he also listens to Kanye, but only after the Nazi incident. Like, what goes wrong in your childhood to make you think doing that is okay? These DMs just prove my point that Fahad and his fans are a group of neo-Nazis that should be avoided at all costs. I would recommend blocking them on any social media you may have and not interact with them under any circumstance. And on that note, that's all I have to say on the matter. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss a video.